It's your right to know. The IRS has announced some enhancements to the Get My Payment tool at irs.gov. Visit the link on their homepage to find out the status of your stimulus payment and provide bank account information if you need to. The IRS says its staff made changes to the site over the weekend, making it easier to use and understand. The IRS will never text or email you a link. If you get one, it's possibly a scam. The IRS says roughly two thirds of Missourians have not received their payment checks yet. Looking at national news, Congress will be back in session on Monday, May 4th. That's according to a tweet from House Majority Leader Steny Hoyer's press office. It says, quote, voters are votes are possible. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell made a similar announcement regarding his chamber earlier today. Some House Democrats say they're worried about the spread of COVID-19 at the Capitol, and some say it might be sending the wrong message if they fly to Washington instead of sheltering in place. The U.S. Supreme Court also decided that the federal government must pay billions of dollars to Obamacare insurers. The nation's highest court siding with health insurers who struggled in the early health care laws early in the health care laws early years in an eight to one decision. The court ruled that the federal government must pay out 12 billion dollars to a group of insurance companies that took a risk on selling coverage and were promised a financial cushion for losses they might incur. Both the Obama and Trump administration said the government had no obligation to pay. A second Navy warship has been hit by an outbreak of coronavirus while at sea. There are now nearly 50 coronavirus cases aboard the USS Kidd among the crew of 330. The first case, a sailor, was taken off the ship when he showed symptoms. The kid was on patrol for narcotic smugglers in the Caribbean and Eastern Pacific. It will be returning back to port in San Diego in the coming days for a cleaning before heading out again. The Navy says a total of 26 U.S. Navy ships have reported COVID-19 cases. Moving to consumer news tonight, show your face or you cannot sell with us. That's the message Amazon is sending to new per to new merchants who want to sell on their website. New sellers will be subject to a video call to verify their identity. The plan is meant to counter fraud while in-person meetings are impossible during the coronavirus pandemic. It's Amazon's latest effort to police counterfeits and allegedly unsafe products on its platforms. The release date for Apple's iPhone 12 could be pushed back about a month due to mass production delays. That's according to the Wall Street Journal. The report comes as the coronavirus pandemic continues to affect consumer demand and manufacturing in Asia. Apple plans to release four new iPhones later this year, but the journal reports the tech giant is reducing the number of phones it plans to produce in the second half of this year by 20%. When we come back, we'll tell you about statues in one of the world's largest countries that are protecting themselves with PPE. We take you there right after this.